Hey guys, welcome to Little Rig Podcast. This is episode 151. Alright, thanks for joining us this week, and we are going to go ahead and get started off with the art. Now, it's been a long time since we've been able to get a normal episode down, and honestly, this still isn't a normal episode, but Austin will be joining us next week, and he'll be here for, I guess, two, maybe three episodes, and um, those will be some normal episodes, some classic Little Big Podcast, and that will be a lot of fun. But we're going to go ahead and get started off with the art this week. And you can send in your art by sending it to littlebigpodcasters at gmail.com, and we will be sure to throw it in the episode. And uh, here's what we got for this week. First up, we have Kyle's Mickey art, and it's a Mickey sack boy. Looks really good. Then he drew some Muppets art and said that he has been dying for a Muppets pack, and he finally got one, so that looks really neat. And then we asked for somebody to draw Radio Tower art for Sackboy and uh, to kind of go along with the PlayStation Home item, which we'll talk about later. But he drew the um, Radio Tower Sackboy, and that would be so cool to have in Little Big Planet too. So, yes, I am dropping hints. So we'll go ahead and get started on the fourth year project now, and then maybe it'll be ready by then or something. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, um, on to the next bit of art, LBP2 Stars LBP Bookmark. that They made an English Clash. Clash. <laughs> they made an English class while they were really bored, and I don't blame you. English can get pretty boring, so making good use of their time, they made an LBP bookmark, and that looks phenomenal. Next up, we have KSA's LBP2 Christmas fan art, and that looks really neat as well. Then we have a card. Actually, hold on just a second. We have a card from uh, Kate Peterson and Jack Buser at uh, PlayStation. And it says, long live play on the front with some uh, snowflakes and stuff. And then on the inside, it said, season's greetings from all of us at Sony Computer Entertainment America. Um, Jack Buser and Kate Peterson. So thank you guys for that. And it's uh, going to be proudly displayed, I guess, somewhere on the set maybe or something like that. And uh, that's really neat. So thank you guys for sending in that card. Really cool stuff there. And that's all for the art this week. So make sure you send in your art to be featured on the show for next week's art. Now, we haven't done levels for a while now, so uh, we're going to kind of make up for it this week. There have been 400,000 copies of Little Big Planet 2 sold since uh, Black Friday. So there's a lot of you guys out there that um, maybe have never even played Little Big Planet 2 before. So we're going to do uh, three MM picks and three kind of undiscovered levels. And we'll do an MM pick, then undiscovered, MM pick, undiscovered, just like that. And we're going to start off with an MM pick. So first up, we have Super bunny O by um, Steve Big Guns. And honestly, this level has been, pretty sure it's been in develop since uh, maybe even beta phases. But um, it's a really neat level. It's kind of like Super Mario with bunnies. And uh, really cute level, if I can say that. And uh, just some really neat platforming aspects to it. Like you can do wall jumps and all that good stuff. Really, really good job on this level. And it was a lot of fun to play through. Next up, we have Discovery Inc. by TK Crew, and um, this is actually an educational level. It's quite undiscovered, and um, we actually got this one on Twitter. They said that they are making educational levels, and what they're doing is they're going into schools and starting LBP clubs um, by teaching kids gravity, momentum, and all those different kind of cool things with Little Big Planet, and it makes it a lot more fun of a learning experience, I am sure. So that's really neat. They're going into schools, starting up LBP clubs, and honestly, that's kind of one of the best uses you can use for Little Big Planet because it does have realistic enough physics that you can teach concepts of physics by using the game. So um, really, really neat stuff there, and uh, we're going to try to get some interviews with them or something because it's just a really cool story about how they're using Little Big Planet 2 for education. So we want to get in touch with them, and we'll see what we can do in the upcoming weeks. Next up, we have Free Falling, a 3D skydiving game by Photosynthesis 1. And this is one of the most mind blowing levels I've played in a long time. Uh, this is an MM pick, and you basically are skydiving out of a plane, and you're going through these different rings. But um, I'd have to say the whole like mind blowing part of this level is how it looks like you're actually falling. And I really don't know how they did that, but. It, it's just phenomenal. They did a great job, and it just blew me away while I was playing this level. Like, I was just kind of scanning through some stuff, and I saw this level, and I'm like, well, might as well try that one out. And I uh, loaded up the level, started it. Um, 
but one of the comments before I started it said the first five seconds absolutely blew me away and I'm like okay so what's gonna be in the first five seconds well it shows you hanging out of the plane then you jump out I'm like whoa that is so cool so they just did a great job on that one uh, well, next up we have How to Make a Wiki. Movie by well, Amy Pick 25 and this is actually a trailer for the LBP Wiki trailer contest okay, Joe. Um, basically it's about some little big planet noobs, and <laughs> this level I'd be laughing the whole time I played it, because it's like, uh, round point things, what did they call them, like, uh, point spheres or something, point circles, I don't remember, but it was just so funny, and they're like, at 40 degrees leftitude, and I was just laughing the whole time, and it, it was perfect, a really good job, and, uh, I hate possums, and that's just about it for that level. It was just so funny. So make sure you go watch that. Um, really funny stuff, and I would not be surprised if that is one of the winners of that contest. It was just perfect. And um, don't forget, Little Big Planet Wiki is where dumbness comes to die. And you can check out Little Big Wiki by going into the link in the description and checking out the LBP Wiki. I think they just had a redesign, and it's absolutely amazing looking. Really great job, guys. And uh, you can learn a lot about Little Big Planet by going to the Little Big Planet Wiki. Next up we have Sunset Surfing by Photosynthesis 1, and we already featured one level by them, and uh, I've tried another one, and it is amazing as well. Um, basically you're surfing, and uh, you're surfing this awesome wave, and you have to do backflips, and avoid sharks, and all that cool stuff. It's just an absolutely mind-blowing level once again, and I had so much fun in this level. Uh, I think I got eaten by sharks uh, eight or nine times during this level. It, it was really bad. It was actually terrible but I did a good job for some of it at least I did like a double backflip and stuff but it was just a lot of fun and this is kind of more a uh, game in Little Big Planet 2 uh, more than just a level but it's a lot of fun really really good job on that and it's something totally different than what we're used to in Little Big Planet 2 so that's a lot of fun and um, yeah the wave looked absolutely amazing I said absolutely amazing like 20 times this episode but anyway um, it was awesome, completely mind-blowing. I've said that 20 times this episode as well, but these levels this week, they, they just had me really excited, so really cool stuff there. And then finally, we have Mrs. Luminescent Secret Flower Power by HK53223, and this is a series that's actually going on, and it's almost like the Victoria's Garden, no, it's not Victoria's Garden, Victoria theme from Little Big Planet 2. And you're in the garden, and she's gonna have a banquet, but her candles got stolen, so you have to help find the candles before it gets dark out. And it was just a really fun level, and a lot of platforming and stuff to it. Really, really good. And uh, it's also going to be a series. The first two parts are out right now, so make sure you go play those and uh, let them know what you think so they can keep developing the series. Now we are on to the news, and first up we have Media Molecules Move Masterpieces. Uh, I guess it wasn't their contest, but they picked out some of their favorites and put them on the blog. And the winner was absolutely astonishing. I could not believe that someone made this in Little Big Planet 2. It was a painting, and you can see it on screen right now. It, it was just amazing. It was so lifelike, and I, I really don't know how people did that in uh, Little Big Planet 2. My painting looked more like a house that a little kid drew on a piece of paper. So to have someone building stuff or drawing stuff like this in little big planet was just awesome. So great work on that and keep it up with the amazing artwork. Um, they also have new MM podcast 13 out and they are all sick. So you can listen to uh, synchronized sneezing on the media molecule podcast number 13. And they also have about three job openings open right now. And I think it's audio, uh, audio programmer and a standard programmer, something like that. But um, if you think you can fill one of those vacancies, then go fill one of the vacancies and they'll have cake and all that good stuff there for you. And uh, I think it is really interesting that they're doing more and more audio hiring. So uh, it makes you wonder if their new game isn't going to be something audio related. I don't know, just a little hint that I'm getting off of all this stuff. Once again, welcome to the 400,000 new people since Black Friday, and as Mark Valdor said on the PlayStation blog, if you're not one of those 400,000 yet, then maybe you will be by Christmas morning, and we are glad you guys are here. 
Um, we're on to the DLC news for this week. The Muppets DLC is out right now. Uh, we did get confirmation that there isn't going to be a Muppets level pack, but there is going to be a lot of other stuff coming out soon, so keep your eyes open. And then we have the Munch from Oddworld costume out, and uh, it, he's kind of a creepy looking dude, but it was a really different looking costume for Little Big Planet. So there's a lot you guys could be doing with that. And then finally, we have the Christmas pod decoration contest that's going to be run by Little Big Land, and that looks like a lot of fun. So if you want to get in on that, you can find out more details in the link in the description about the pod decoration contest. All right, now one more note before we go. We picked up some uh, Little Big Planet 2 strategy guides this past week, th these past couple of weeks, and we picked them up for a penny each. So uh, we figured we might as well give them away, so we signed them. And uh, we can send them out to somebody, but we need to know what to send them out for. So if you have a cool idea for a contest or anything like that, then uh, let us know in the comments or email us, and we'll see what we can do about that. And we'll see if we can give out some of these instruction manuals. They're really neat. We have two of them right now, but uh, if we can find some more, then we might give those out as well. So, um, yeah, I think that's just about it for this week. I can tell you that starting the first of the year till probably February 22nd, um, 80 to 90% of the news is probably going to be about, uh, is probably going to be about, uh, PlayStation Vita because, uh, Vita does launch in February. So that's going to be awesome. I cannot wait for that. Uh, launch titles are going to be games like Uncharted and, uh, Little Big Planet 2, or not Little Big Planet 2, but Little Big Planet Vita. And that is just going to be so much fun. So I can't wait to get our hands on a Vita and uh, start playing with those. But until then, we are going to be bringing you guys all of the updates on that as we get updates. And I think that's just about it. So I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. And enjoy Little Big Planet.